Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here in Middle Earth once again with a glorious 2v2 as we have the Eastlings here along with Dale facing off against Dunland and Harad and I have been told that this is an insanely close battle that comes down to the wire so I'm excited to see how this one goes, see some interesting tactics and we've got some certainly some interesting units here with Yeoman as uh, being a, a unit we never really see from Dale being brought, but yeah, some really cheap archers, so maybe Dale is going, uh, like, expensive elsewhere, for instance. Um, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't look like they are. Maybe they're Cav, I guess, is where they put all their money into. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how this one goes on. I guess put some money into Bardings there as well. But yeah, I've been told this one comes right down to the wire. It's definitely worth uh, sitting back, relaxing, and enjoying and get yourself ready for some glorious Middle Earth action. Who are you though? Are you Team Eastlings and Dale? Are you Team Harad and Dunland? I mean, are some of you have your favorite factions. Uh, certainly, uh, a lot of you do seem to like, uh, I mean, I said Eastlings is a popular one. I think also I'd say Harad is as well. We often see these two factions, uh, I guess because of the Mummocks and maybe the elite infantry that uh, these things can bring. But already in the back lines are here, we do have some cavalry dueling out here with camels. So, I mean, this is some Varig, got some Varig Lance here, dueling with the uh, the Camel Riders. Certainly, I mean, this should be in favor, I think, of these things, because they have the heavier cab. But Camels do have that scareability on on uh, on Cavalry. And actually, the Varig Lance here have caught out a, uh, a Muhad uh, Hunter. So, that's a really good win there, taking out a Javi unit that otherwise has the capability of taking out the Cav unit. It does seem, though, we are about to see an infantry line uh, fight as well. We have a uh, Runic Warriors here already engaged with Haradrim Infantry. Not a bad matchup by either side. Haradrim Infantry isn't that great, and Runic Warriors are okay. They're pretty solid light infantry, to be honest. Uh, on the far side over here, Dale and Dunland yet to engage. But we are seeing Blood Avengers getting focused down here. It's a really bad use of your amazing shock infantry that you have. Don't want these guys getting focused down. I mean, they're actually medium shock infantry. I swear these guys used to be heavies, but uh, maybe not. Uh, it also seems like Dale is now pushing forward with his cavalry. Is he just going to go for an all-out cavalry charge? He has brought a whole load of cavalry here. A lot of Dale cavalry regiment. And yeah, he looks like he's going to go straight in for a charge. He's not slowing down as an infantry. And there you go. A big old cavalry charge there from Dale. Straight into Dunland's face. Yeah, inflicting a decent amount of losses there. The cavalry on the flanks has engaged as well. This is a problem for Dunland. They have really good cav. Champion Reeve is really, really good. But they can only bring three of them. So, like, numbers-wise, they will be outnumbered in that in that case. So they could have brought um, some lighter cav, which they uh, aren't capped on. They decided not to. They have also got dogs here. The wolf tamers have been mobilized. The dogs are pretty good at uh, anti-cav operations there. Over on this side, we do have uh, Harad in here with the Odun Rikori. Another fan favorite, I think, really, for uh, Dawn of Stays players. <laughs> this is a really good unit. Like, head-to-toe in armor. Oh boy, it's a good unit. Yeah, really nice. Uh, they're actually mopping with the Varig Lancer really nicely. They shouldn't really keep it in contact, uh, in combat with um with infantry if it's not, if it doesn't mean, need to be there sort of thing. Like, I mean, over here as well, they're actually getting beaten by the, the camera riders now. I think that is just down to being melee cab. That certainly helps. Yeah, but the line, look how, actually, I've just realized the, the, the cab here, like the camel, sorry, they tower over the cab. We also have uh, the Muhad Hunters going in. I don't know if they're out of ammo. They are. That probably didn't help as well. They've probably been jabbing into the side of stuff. Uh, Haradrim Swords, though, are being beaten back here. And the Halberds are doing a decent job. Certainly the more elite infantry now coming up for these things is certainly helping. Though the Loki Rim really struggling against this Adun and the Kauri. The two East... East... I was going to say Eastling, but that's not the right word. The, the two men of the East factions, we'll call them, I guess. Eastman factions, they're, they're being beat, they're fighting each other. That's what I was trying to say. They butchered that, but hey, there you go. We've got Javis here, Carnage Sentries. They're now engaged. Um, so it seems like um, these things here are kind of getting pushed back, and they're actually being really aggressive with their Loki Rim. I feel like all that's going to achieve is getting them this hammer and anvil. We're seeing a charge here from the general. Wasn't a great charge, that's for sure. But yeah, certainly I'd say if Harad loses his general, it's more detrimental. These things, though, it's pretty, it's not great for them either. Wards of Rune they went for as a general as well. It's the bane of the steps. An interesting move, that is for sure. The Dunakori going in against Wards of Rune. That'll be a battle of the Titans in shock infantry there. Shipman losing in this fight here against Dunland. Dunland certainly is a uh, got the better infantry. Shipman aren't that great. 
They need to bring up things like their pikes, uh, does Dale, if they've not already, they need to bring them up. Oh yeah, they have, they're all the way over here and they're losing. Uh, they put them into the cav fights, which is an interesting move, but yeah, they're kind of beating the infantry on this flank here. And they're doing a pretty good job on this side here, but they've got like a pike unit here that's just, just sad here doing nothing as well. Uh, this vine and Washman needs to get a move on, get around the back, maybe do some, uh, some hammer and anvil. Stuff and we've got the uh, Ravanian regions here, and we also have Dale Cavalry Regiment, and they are beating this champion Reaver here. If they can kill Dunland's general again, also, Dunland, I don't feel like does well with uh, no general and low morale, so that could be costly. There, I personally feel like, yeah, I mean, look at this Dunland's general's about to lose and die. If they can kill off this general, Dunland will lose this side, but it looks like Harad is going to win over on this side against these things. These things have just been clapped here. Locurium Halberdiers have signed a waiver. They're doing okay in this little area here. They're beating back the camels. I'd expect no less, to be honest. There you go. The camels have been uh, defeated, but they still got the Muhad Real Hunters in here. And the Serpent Guards are doing some rear charges. They're trying to get that general. But the Halberds also trying to spear, spear the, um, the general there of Harad. But there you go, the sword line for Dale is starting to crumble, and now they're into archers, and they're just yeomen. They're not, they're not good archers. Not like Bardings that could hold the line for a little while. Cav here getting chopped down, he got caught before he could do a good charge there. He's done her chosen as well, can throw axes, which is really cool, but I kind of wish they had their accuracy up a little bit. Because the axes really do nothing. Yeah, Blood Avengers retreating. I guess maybe they're just trying to freshen up. The general here with Dunland has been chased down by Dale Cavalry Regiment. And yeah, he is low on, on manpower. Is that general? He is needing some uh, some reinforcements. He might want to run over to uh, maybe to Harad, stay safe there. The general here just helping to route Elder Archers. Yeah, Champion Reaver's there. Really trying to just get out of there. Blood Avengers. I feel like the Dale Cavalry Regiment is just on a warpath to get that. That, uh, that general, I mean, he did knock down most of that unit of uh, Blood Avengers there to try and get to this general. I'll give him that. And it doesn't really matter anyway because another unit arrived. And there you go. I think they've just about killed off the Dunland general. And that could be huge. Dunland's already looking pretty rough. I mean, Dale's not going to come out with this with much left. He's got, he's got to hope that these things can take a decent amount of stuff out. I mean, it looks like Serpent Arch is here. Might be the Ward's Rune. I mean, the Ward's Rune are like a tiny little unit left. We're seeing archers here just focus down the Locrium Halberdiers. Such a uh, like key use of ammunition being used on Halberds. And they're trying to just, yeah, back to back. It's a good strategy. They might kill Harad's general doing this. He keeps running in like this, getting himself poked to death. They do Nikori hit the flank, which is a good idea. I'll try and turn this flank of the uh, the halberds. They might just break them. But they keep just chopping down this line. They're losing decisively. There you go, wavering already. That might be enough. They didn't really need to use the cavalry. Just rush with infantry. And they could break both these units quite easily. And there you go. Harad is victorious over these things. Don't see that very often. Uh, I mean, there's this is one little wall in the room, but that's not going to stop anything. One rear charge, and that's done for. And then it's going to come down to Dale versus Harad. By the looks of it, unless... Dunlin somehow going to turn us around, but I imagine not. Bardings here look like they are going to defeat those Dunhurd swords. Yeah, all the infantry here getting beaten back. A worrying thing for Harad certainly is the amount of cavalry that Dale still has. It's not a lot, but there is like two units that are around 30 men each, plus they have the Ravanian region general. And he's about half strength as well, so yeah, still really healthy in that, in that way, but infantry... Yeah, for Dale, not so great, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. They just need a minimal amount, and they can hammer an anvil like this. Just some little hammer and anvils, and they can get in there, and they can kill a lot of stuff quickly. But yes, if you're enjoying the Dawnless Days action and would like to see some more, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show your support. It really does mean a lot, and really does help out the channel as we work towards 8k subs. And as you can see there... It's now down to Dale versus Harad. It's going to be close, that's for sure. And if you want to send in your own Dawn's Days replays or just any 
uh, replays for Total War. I'm always looking for more, like 1212, Rome 2, anything enemy. that you've got, I'll happily show off as well. I, I like to see what you guys are like doing, getting up to, what wacky battles you're having, and what close battles you're having, like this one. It's turning out to be a pretty close run thing. Um, feel free to join the Discord if you want to send your own replays. The link is down below in the description. And yeah, I'm just going to fast forward quickly as we wait for, uh, as we wait for, like, Dale to get set up and Harad to set up and... One of them's going to eventually have to, um, make that decision to charge each other. It looks like, I mean, Dale looks like he's going to just flank around. I think Harad's got the ammo left, if anyone's got any. Yeah, he's got a little bit of ammo. Dale is without ammo. Um, not that it really matters because his yeomen are pretty meh anyway. Um, but he's got two units of barding, he's got some yeomen which are probably going to break pretty quickly. His uh, violent watchmen are obviously going to be very vulnerable to archer fire. And, I mean, they could also just be recharged and broken pretty easily. The cav, obviously, is the main danger for Dale. I mean, the bardings, luckily as well, will hold the line for a good while. They'll, they'll stand up against most infantry. Probably a Haradrim infantry as well they'll stand up against. Uh, Adun Nakori, big problem for Dale. If the Adun Nakori can just, like, you know, if he just doesn't stop stops running them and let them uh, get active again, uh, then they are going to be a real, real problem. And Serpent Guards and Cavalry Raiders. I mean, there'll be a little bit of a problem, but not much of an issue for the Dale Cavalry, I imagine. That's the thing. If Dale can focus down this general and kill this, I think he's in a really, really good spot. And here we go. Harad's actually going to be the one to push forward. I thought it would have to be Dale. Dale, you know what? This is the one that will want to close the gap because Harad still has ammo. Dale is now force, uh, coming forward. Here we go. I mean, the Yeoman, I think, will break pretty quickly. That's no surprise. They're a levy unit. What are they shooting? They are shooting the pikes, which is a really good idea. I shoot the weaker one first, try and break it. I think army losses could be a big way to win this battle. And there we go. Bardings go in against the uh, Haradrim. Well, this is just the Serpent Archers, in fact. It's not even the Haradrim uh, infantry. General now fighting off against Dale Cavalry Regiment. Who's winning that fight? The general is, in fact, losing. And there you go. Camel Riders beat him pretty easily. That was no surprise there. And there you go, the general signs to waver, but he has in fact broken that Dale Cavalry Regiment first. But he's got, he's on a bit of a tightrope there. Really, he could have done without Duna Nakori infantry support, I think. And the Duna Nakori now are in a fight here for their lives against these Bardings. Numbers are pretty low for both sides. Both have about 500 men left. Serpent Guards still alive and kicking just. they can kill Dale's general, they've got a chance, but they've got to kill him first. And there you go, the general for Harad has broken. He's not dead, I don't think, yet. Dale Cavalry Regiment on the way. He's going to just charge into the side of these archers. There you go, Harad's general has died. And there goes the, uh, the Dale Cavalry going in. They will probably break those archers now. And we're now starting to see rear charges onto the infantry. It's only the Aduna Cori really that are standing, but they're starting to waver as well. And there you go. The Aduna Cori being broken signals the end of this fight. And there you go. Dale is victorious with a Pyrrhic victory. And that was pretty damn close in the end, to be fair. I mean, there was... There wasn't many men left remaining, but yeah, that, that Dale Cavalry certainly came in clutch in the end. I mean, getting 344 kills is the best of the bunch. I mean, 222, 226, some good kills there as well. Barding's getting 263 kills, and then the other one getting 227. Infantry, yeah, not doing much, and uh, the rest of the archers not doing much. Um, and the Ravanian region's getting 265. So yeah, well done to Z uh, Zwayze, who has sent this one in. Did a very good job. We didn't actually, I didn't even check out the Mummox, but they got 312 kills. I must, I admit, decided to just not pay attention to them, but they actually did do pretty well. Um, then we've got Elmest here, who was playing as these things. 198 kills with his Wards of Rune, really nicely done. Uh, Runic Warriors getting 108, it's not bad, 112, uh, 21 with another one there. 146 with the Locrian Maceman, 121 with the Halberdiers. And then the Cav not doing too great, uh, 95, the best of the bunch there. Then we have Yemen Kun playing as Harad, 220, uh, 299, sorry, kills with the Serpent Raiders. 222 with the Aduna Nakori. And then we've got, um, like, Ar Serpent Archers down here, 144. And then we've got, yeah, the Baby Mummox getting 312 kills. Then we have uh, Wani Halba. 
Wani, we'll just call him, um, playing as Dunland. Yeah, had a rough game against Dale, but getting some decent kills. 248 with the Blood Avengers. Then we've got 243 with the Dunherd Swords. 140 with the Dunherd Swords there as well. Some pretty solid kills, but yeah, certainly they struggled with the cavalry difference. Like, I mean, it was like six cavalry against three. It's just not a fair fight, unfortunately. We maybe would have been better facing off against... Um, they would have been better off facing against Harad early on, I think, because they had uh, a similar amount of mounted troops. But there you go, guys. That is today's battle. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.